Welcome back everybody. My name is Jake Gallen. I'm here with Emblem Vault and today I'm going to show you how to vault your Bitcoin and counterparty assets. So here we are on the emblem.finance page, which is the DAP for Emblem Vault. You're going to come over here and hit create. You're going to make sure it's clicked on public and that you see your wallet address, not private. And you're going to pick a vault name and a description. This is very specific. So here I have it preset for the sake of time. We're using the Pepe's Lambo one. And here we have a recommendation of the name of the asset, the year of the token, blockchain, and the supply. You don't have to follow this. We recommend you do this because every community kind of has a different set of standards, but for the sake of simplicity and um, to make sure that they all are very similar, uh, uh, we would recommend that you follow this. So here we have the description of, of how it's supposed to look. And here is the example of the exact one that I'm about to use. So we're gonna go in here, I'm gonna paste the description and then I'm going to hit next and you're gonna choose a file. And the, the best way to do this is to, I'm gonna show you here. So on X chain, you can see this here on the Pepe's Lambo, you can see the image right here. This is probably the most high quality one and it shows you where the official card is. So you're gonna come over here, you're gonna hit save, you're gonna save it to your desktop. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back over here and you're gonna hit choose file. And once you come in here and you find your Pepe's, you're going to make sure you also have 250 Koval to create the vault. You're going to have to, it'll show up here, right here in the corner of how much you have. Then you're going to wait for it to load. And so this is actually the pre-minting of the vault. So the vault actually hasn't been created yet. It hasn't been minted. You can see here that it says it's empty. Should always know to never purchase anything that says empty vault. See the owner is zero, 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 which means that nobody really owns it yet. And you can see the descriptions and this is going to continually refresh until you fill it up with the asset that you have labeled it as. So we're gonna come down here, we're gonna hit mint and you're gonna hit sign. And sometimes you have to hit this a few times, uh, depending on if you have a ledger or not. I know the ledger sometimes cause uh, errors to where it takes a few times for it to actually mint. But after all, it doesn't cost any more gas fee. And the, the way that you know if it's minting is you will get a MetaMask transaction. So here, the gas is gonna cost me $9.65. This is the GUI is set to 17. So it can be quite expensive at times. The best time to create these vaults are always going to be the weekends. And depending on where you are across the world, I know I live out here in America, the best time is generally about midnight PST on Friday and Saturday, and then sometimes Sunday as well. While this is minting, the way to send the asset is you generally have to come over to your free wallets. And this is the wallet that I choose. Sometimes people have other uh, wallets that they like to choose, but basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here, you're gonna hit the deposit address. This is the public one that you can see here. And then we're going to come over to our free wallet, which you can see right here. And sorry, let me size this up so that this is the best for all of us. And you're going to see you have a set of them over here. You're going to come over here and you're going to hit um, send funds. And so once you hit send funds, you type in the private key or not the private key, the public key. I'm sorry. Choose the one that is correct. In this case, it's Pepe's Lambos. You're gonna make sure you have some Bitcoin in your wallet because it's generally gonna cost, you can see right here, 62 cents to send it over there. Quite cheap compared to the Ethereum network. And you're gonna hit send. Once the broadcasting is done, you can check the transaction. And then we're gonna come back over to our Brave browser. And we're gonna sit here and we're gonna wait. Sometimes on the Bitcoin network, it can take a little bit of time Sometimes it's pretty quickly it depends on the congestion of the network, but it should come pretty quickly and we'll see that it pops up here pretty shortly. So you can see here now, it took about 12 minutes for that to get pushed through. So Bitcoin network can be quite congested sometimes. So we see here, it's officially made it. You come here, press view NFT 
and it'll take you to the actual page. So we know that we have now vaulted our own counterparty and Bitcoin asset.